Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel and Reaper is giving me more issues. Uh, I took her out this past weekend, took her out uh, Friday night, ran fine, smoked, like I said in the last video, it smoked, but it ran fine, it had its power, it didn't have any misses. So the next day Saturday, I noticed that idle was like having like a slight misfire at idle, but it drove fine, so it has power. Then went to the mall for a little bit to do some Christmas shopping, then Left them all, and the thing was missing while driving like bad. I didn't think I was gonna make it home because I have a, I had a 40 minute, no, a 35 minute drive. Well, it was 25 minutes because I was freaking hauling trying to get home. So now I checked my code, and now it's saying that there's a cylinder three misfire. But um, I replaced all the cool packs except for cylinder three because cylinder three is right below here. So right now I'm currently taking all this off. Yeah, this is our little project today. Replace that one cool pack and maybe check out the spark plug. But yeah, I hope it's not related to the smoking issue. I don't think it is because I drove it for four hours after the smoking issue started and I drove for one night after that. So fingers crossed it's not like that. So I'm going to tear this off and see what happens and see what it looks like. Alrighty, got the uh, air intake tube off. Now take this rubber off if it'll come off. I know this rubber is tight getting on there. Real tight. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if I want to take that off. I want to see if I can get to the cool pack without. So that's cylinder one, cylinder two, and cylinder three is right there. Wherever that pigtail is. So I'm trying to get this rubber off and see if I can get to it. If not, I'm going to have to take that throttle body off. So yeah, kill myself if that's the case. So I just discovered oil inside the throttle body. So I'm wondering if the PCV valve is bad. So, I'm going to replace that while we're at it. Here's the old PCV valve. And we're going to replace it with this one. Fresh PCV valve in. And maybe that's the whole reason the car is smoking. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I know it can be the lead causes. And that's the reason I only really think that could be the issue causing the car to uh, blow or burn oil and blow smoke is because it's going right up into the throttle body, burning in there. So could be it maybe hopefully i don't know i know that they are known for going bad i know the symptoms so that could be it Alrighty guys, picking this up a day later. Uh, I quit filming for a reason, and unfortunately, this is there's just bad news basically. So um, I didn't film this part uh, because my camera died, of course. Again, I need to buy a new battery for this thing. But um, took the spark plug out. It was covered in burnt oil, so I cleaned up the best I could. I, you're going to say, why didn't you just go buy a new spark plug? Well, I'm not going to go ahead and buy a new spark plug and have it get ruined. So I cleaned it up just good enough so it would function properly. Put it back in. Car's misfire went away for about 10 minutes. I let it sit there in idle for 10 minutes and it started popping and carrying on again. Then the code came back. Uh, misfire in cylinder 3. So uh, I took off the vacuum hose uh, that leads into the uh, valve cover and smoke. The same amount of smoke and the same smoke that comes like this was coming out of the exhaust so the engine has blow by so doing some research i pretty sure it's a cracked ring which is not good you may say let's tear it down put a new ring in it well for you guys that don't know it's it's not that simple um because when the ring cracks it can damage the cylinder wall and when the cylinder wall is damaged that is not good you gotta take it to a shop and have it honed out and that's a lot of progress. I mean, you have to pull the motor out and everything and pull the block off, pull everything apart, basically tear the whole thing, take everything apart. I'm not about to do that right now. I need the car back. Um, so the plan is I'm going to buy another motor, unfortunately. That's the easiest route right now to get it back as soon as possible. But you're going to say it's probably just going to happen again by buying a used motor. I'm not going to run this car hard. I'm going to try and stay out of boost. Yes, I'll give it some pulls every once in a while. But I'm going, the motor that's in it now is going to get built. 
It's gonna get Terminator Pistons and Crank. It's gonna get all that good stuff. It's gonna be upgraded. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna do aftermarket heads yet because I don't want I don't want the car to make insane power. I'm pretty much happy with that where it's at now. Uh, if, I, if I want anything faster, I'm gonna buy like a Cobra or something, or even a Coyote. I'm happy with Reaper the way she is. Um, but right now, I'm gonna rebuild the motor that's in it. I'm gonna buy another motor. It's either non-PI or PI. I'd prefer PI, but if I have to, I'll go non-PI. She'll still have the supercharger. There just won't be as much abuse. I didn't even abuse it that hard. But I must say, when it started smoking, I gave it a good pull because someone wanted to film it, and yeah, it went horribly wrong. Unfortunately, Reaper is down. So she'll be back. I promise you guys. I know it sucks. She's the main star of the channel, but she'll be back. But let me know what kind of content you guys want to see until I find another motor. Unfortunately, Christmas is right around the corner, so I can't buy a motor right now. I gotta worry about Christmas shopping. Or else, there'd be a motor in it probably this weekend. I got V6 content to make, so let me know when you want to see the V6. And yeah, just give me some ideas and leave a like on this video. That would all the support right now uh, could, because I'm gonna have to lose motivation with everything. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm having that burnout right now. And um, so guys, give me all the motivation you guys can give me. I know a lot of you guys have been has been supporting me for the longest for years, and I appreciate every single one of you. I didn't want this day to come with Reaper, but I think we all knew with the supercharger, stock internals, and the way I kind of ran it sometimes. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't think it was going to happen this soon. I was hoping to have another motor bought and built before this was even close to happening, but it happened. So we're here right now. It sucks, but we're going to get through it. We're going to build Reaper. Uh, we're going to build another two valve motor that will, you know, be stronger and will be good. But for now, I'm going to hunt for another two valve motor. So, yeah, she will be back. I promise you guys. So. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me all the support you guys can. I'm going to try my best to come up with some content. It's going to be hard without Reaper. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be like the most difficult time with the channel right now. But we'll get through it. I'll get through it. We, we will all get through it. You guys are part of this too. So, alrighty guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.